Hey, I'm Val, and this is my now husband, Philip. After nearly 11 years together, we decided to finally get married in the middle of a pandemic. As big parties with friends and family back home were off limits, we had to come up with a new plan. So instead, we decided to stay in the UK, get married in one of our favorite cities in the world, and tie it all together with an epic road trip across the UK. Basically like a honeymoon, but make it COVID friendly. So our COVID moon. Follow along as we start this new chapter in our lives and explore corners of our expert home we have never seen before on our great British road trip. Good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of our COVID Moon adventure. Today we're saying goodbye to our horse box. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure you watch it because it's been an awesome night. I'm gonna link it up here. But today, if my jumper is not already giving it away, we're going back home. We're driving up to Edinburgh today and I'm so, so, so excited to finally be back. For everyone who doesn't know, we used to live in Edinburgh for, I would say like four years. Even a bit longer actually, five years maybe. And we just absolutely love Scotland and love Edinburgh. It just, it's, it's just home for us. So now after about a year and a half, we're finally going back for the first time. And I just cannot wait. But instead of showing you Edinburgh, which itself would be great, but there are loads and loads of great Edinburgh videos out there. I want to show you three kind of more secret things around Edinburgh. They're not the usual tourist attractions. So over the next couple of days I'm gonna take you along and I want to show you three great adventures to have outside of Edinburgh. So the first kind of secret thing I want to show you is the Great Polish Map of Scotland, which is a massive 50 by 40 meters 3D concrete map of Scotland, which is located just south of Edinburgh in a town called Peebles. And it has been here for quite a while, but has been forgotten about. So let's go have a look and I'll tell you the story. So it all started with this young Polish soldier who came to Scotland after he got wounded in the Second World War. Stayed in Scotland, as so many Polish people did. Um, and he bought this castle, which is right behind us, which is called Barony Castle, and he made it into a hotel. He was running the hotel for quite a few years and because he loved Scotland so much and he wanted to thank the people for their hospitality and their help when he really needed it, he wanted to kind of build a big monument for them. And he did, because this map of Scotland is the biggest 3D map of any country in the world, which is quite amazing. So he teamed up with a friend of his, a Polish architect from Krakow, and they together started to build this map in the 1970s and it wasn't fully finished but it was it was there it existed and it was running alongside the hotel barony castle but then unfortunately there was a big fire the hotel had to shut down and the son of Jan Tomasek who came here first and started to build the map he tried to save the hotel but he couldn't and someone else bought the grounds and then the map was forgotten about it was completely overgrown nobody really knew it existed and it wasn't until 20 years later that the architect from Krakow who helped him build this spoke to another architect friend who is Scottish at a conference and told him about this project that they did 20 years ago all this time ago and so the Scottish architect thought he had to do something about it and he started to investigate do some research and then by chance I think about 10 years later behind a bush he found the map or what was left of the map because it was it was completely overgrown and pretty much ruined but he found the map and it took them another 10 years until around 2012 when they finally started to rebuild the map and it was finished in 2018 and here it is so the map is perfectly to scale which means that every mountain, every valley, every river that is in Scotland is represented on this map. And if it rains, the sea level 
rises and also the, all the all the rivers and all the lochs get filled so you can actually see what you would see from space basically river mountains sea everything there is in scotland unfortunately today it's a little bit flat maybe it's like low tide not quite sure it probably hasn't rained in a while so the the pool isn't fully filled but you can still see what it would look like and i just i just think it's pretty amazing to come up with an idea like this for a polish immigrant to say thank you to scotland for staying here it's just something that's so close to our hearts because obviously we lived here for quite a while and we absolutely love it and scotland is just is just home for us so i think it's such a nice place to see and such an important memory Our next stop is just another example of the ingenuity and just brilliant engineering that Scots are so famous for. Because there's loads of canals in Scotland. They go all over the country. And so there is the Union Canal and the Forth and Clyde Canal. And these two cross, but on different levels. So boats never really managed to go from one to the other, which meant that Edinburgh and Glasgow so far weren't connected by a canal. Which is a bit of a pain and just a shame. So, the Scots thought, why not build a rotating boat lift called the Falkirk Wheel? So this is exactly what they did. They have a 35 meter high structure, which has two different gondolas and boats can drive into them on the top level and on the bottom level, go into the structure and then the whole thing is rotating, which means they can just change levels. And they're being lifted up to 24 meters high, which is just incredible. And then they can continue their journey. I mean, it's just such a cool idea. It looks really good. They decided to make this like a big landmark structure. And so it's in a very impressive building. And you can come here, you can hop on some boats and try it yourself, have a little tour, or you can just come and watch them. It's very interesting to see. There's some, there's a cafe here, there's some playgrounds and some stuff to do with kids. So it's a really fun day out and it's just very, very impressive and very unique. It's the only rotating boat lift that exists in the world, right here in Scotland. And the last thing I want to show you is another example of great Scottish engineering and actually taps into the rich mythical history of Scotland. So right behind me you can see the Kelpies, two 30 meter high steel horses that have been built in 2014. And these are really important in Scottish history. They were inspired by horses, by working horses, 
very powerful, strong horses that help with the coal mines and with the boats. Inspired by these horses, the Kelpies are form-changing water spirits. And they may appear at any given time. And given that Scotland has quite a lot of water around it and inside it in lochs and in canals, Kelpies could always be around the corner. They're not the nicest of animals. And the story says that if you're playing nearby a loch, especially as a child, Kelpies could come out and they're all glorious and they attract you and then they will just catch you and will drag you into the water and that's actually how many children die. Of course we don't know how much truth is to that, but you should, you should always be careful if you're around water in Scotland. The Kelpies can also be good though. If you manage to get hold of their bridle, then you're in power of the Kelpies and then they're strong as a hundred horses and basically you can do everything with them. So be careful if you're in Scotland. Don't be attracted by the Kelpies. If you hear a thunder, that could be a Kelpie because their tail when they enter the water sounds like a thunder. So just make sure it's actually a thunderstorm or maybe a Kelpie. So those were just three things that you can see in Scotland that, or you can see around Edinburgh that are absolutely worth seeing and just so exciting and just so typically Scottish. Scotland is such a beautiful country, such an amazing, incredible country. So you should definitely, definitely come and visit. It is so worth it. There's so much to explore and to see. So you definitely not be bored. We absolutely love it here. We'll always make sure to come back and I hope so will you.